Hello and welcome to Ark Survival Ascended. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you top 15 things that you probably didn't know that has changed in Ark Survival Ascended. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you knew of any of these changes. Neither of these changes are going to be in order, just know they are the top 15 that I have come across and uh, if you guys know of any other, let me know in the comments down below. The first one is that there are mummies as well as some babies that roam around the world. So if you get rid of this mummy, you can actually go ahead and claim the baby and raise the baby straight off the bat. So let's go ahead, be nasty and get rid of mommy Fiomia over here. And there you guys can see baby is running around and now does not have a parent. So we can go ahead and we can imprint on it. Where did it go? And here is the baby. It's running away, dude, come back. I need to imprint on you. And then, ta-da, we now have ourselves our very own Fiomia. Without going through the hassle of taming any creature or dino. The second thing that has changed, if you hold in left alt while you're riding a dino, you can actually change the camera view. So, well, not the camera view, how far you zoomed in and how far you are zoomed out, which is pretty cool. And then also you can just reset it if you're not happy with it. And then press left alt and there it has disappeared. The third change is to bowlers and this one is pretty cool. So if you need to bowler something and you don't know if you can bowler it or not, they now actually show you that you are not able to bowler it or you are able to bowl it or when uh, the timer, so when you bowler something and the bowler comes loose, you have a timer that uh, you have to wait out before you can bowler a creature again. So as you guys can see, I cannot bowler the, the carbon emmies, but I can bowler this packy. So now the packy has come loose and as you guys can see it's showing yellow that I have to wait the time before I can bowler it again. The fourth change to Ark Survival Ascended is that the torch, your hand torch, can now actually be equipped to your belt and you can also change the color of the flame. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, paint on me so we can't do that, but there you go. We now have a torch on our belt. The fifth change to Ark Survival Ascended compared to Ark Survival Evolved is the bushes and water features. It's actually really, really cool and I love these features. So if you guys are in the bushes and uh, you are being sneaky or a dino is being sneaky or something of the sort, you can actually see the bushes moving, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. So if you want to see where the compies are coming from, you can actually see them running around in the bushes because, uh, yeah, they're pretty small. You can't see them and uh, having the moving bushes pretty much helps. It really does. So, yeah, as you guys can see, the bush is actually moving. The other thing is when you're chopping down trees, it's actually got a pretty cool effect to it. So when it breaks, that is what happens. So everything's just moving because uh, obviously it's fallen and all that stuff. It doesn't just it disintegrate. It now just uh, it falls down. It gives you a little bit of an, an effect. Pretty much what a tree should do when, uh, when you chop it down. My most favorite effect is the water, how it's changed. I really, really love this because, uh, yeah, when you're jumping around, it splashes. When fish are swimming and they, the, the shark's fins are out of the water, it actually shows you that there's like a, what do you call it, a streak? Um, or, yeah, whatever you call it. But uh, I really, really love the water feature. As you guys saw there, the raptor that climbed out of the water, um, it gave like these little bubble effects and then also if you like smack the water, it is pretty cool. Look at that. So yes, I really, really love the water effects that have changed. So as you guys can see, the raptor is now swimming away and it's like leaving this mark behind him, which, yeah, I really, really like it. The sixth thing that I want to talk about is I'm not really going to go into detail because I have a totally different video because uh, it's actually got a wide amount of changes. So the building in Ark has changed and it's absolutely really, really cool. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it in the comments down below. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I actually forgot something very, very cool in my building video. 
So um, if you place yourself a foundation and you get yourself a wall, not only can you get a wall, you can get a door, you can get a doorway, you can get a double doorway, you can get a window wall, but then you can also get yourself a secret doorway. And I completely missed this one in the building video. And it's actually pretty cool. So um, open, ta-da, and then close, and it looks just like a wall. So something else on building features, I think this is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to place a foundation, we're going to place a wall, another wall, and another wall. And um, yeah, I mentioned this in the building video, but I'll, I'm going to mention it in this video too. Um, so if you want to pick up something, so before you used to pick it up and everything would break, but now if you pick it up, everything just goes back into your inventory so none of that uh, mistakenly picking something up and then everything breaks and you have to remake it rebuild it and all that stuff and only get half the resources back it now just goes back into your inventory which sometimes might be a little bit of a pain because uh, what if you get too heavy i don't know but uh, i like that feature the seventh thing that is pretty cool is if you go into your menu and let's say you want to make a foundation, you can actually now go ahead and track the item so you can see on the right end of your screen how many resources you need of everything. And you can actually track three different things at a time. So track and then track. So the ninth thing is that you can actually respawn your character. So if you get stuck, you're locked in a cage, or something is just not going the way you want it, you can actually just go ahead, respawn your character, and start again. So if you go into your inventory and you go to your implant, you guys will see that there's a countdown for a respawn available in 5 seconds. Once it's done, you go ahead, respawn, and there you go. So number 10 is tracking your dinos and I think this one is pretty cool because in the past you either have lag on a server so when you have lag you get kicked out or something and when you log back in you can't find your creature or your dino and uh, sometimes you also forget them somewhere or you end up dying somewhere and you just can't track what well, you can't find them whatever the case is you can now actually track your dinos which is pretty cool so you go into your inventory you go to the tracking tab and then uh, you can actually see we have ourselves a parasaur and a fiomia and then uh, yes the parasaur is tracked but i'm going to untrack it and then let's quickly do that again so if you go over here you said you say select to add poi and then there you go our parasaur is located over there and our fiomia is located over there so just like all the other changes that are cool, this one is also very cool. So number 11 is changing the ammo or attachments on your weapons. So if we go over to our crossbow over here, you guys will see that I've got the stone arrows reloaded. But I actually now want the trank arrows. So you just go ahead, hold in R, and you can change over to the trank arrows. If you guys have a look here, if you've got the items in your inventory, you can actually craft the arrows, the stone arrows or trank arrows. The same with attachments, all you have to do is hold in R and then you can move over to the different attachments for your weapon. So you don't have to go into your inventory anymore and keep like equipping and unequipping the attachments. Number 12 is also pretty cool. You can actually have multiple hotbars that you can toggle through. So if you hold in Q, you guys will see that we now have this hotbar that says we can press 9 to go to the other hotbar or press 0 to go to a forward hotbar. So let's quickly press 0 and there you guys can see we are toggling through multiple hotbars. If you hold in Q, you can just get rid of it and have your normal hotbar available to you. So the change to your map and markers is actually pretty cool. So if you go into your inventory and you go to the last tab over here that says map, you click on that and as you guys can see we have a bunch of different things available to us. So we got the pings, the waypoints, dinos, players and deaths. So if you guys just want to see um, the deaths you can just turn all off all the others. You can click on the deaths and your, now your deaths are showing to you. If you don't want to see those you just want to see what dinos you have on the map then you can do that or players or waypoints etc etc. So if you guys want to add a waypoint to the map, you're going to zoom out and or zoom in, whatever the case is. And let's say, um, 
I don't know, the cave is over here and uh, as you guys can see at the bottom there it says the latitude and the longitude so once you move it around it starts changing but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to add a waypoint by double clicking and let's save this as a cave entrance guys there are no cave entrances there not that I know of um, so don't yeah don't hold me on that one but anyway so cave entrance and then we can change the color of our waypoints if we want to and then we can accept it and now it will be on our map so if you guys go ahead and click on it it will actually waypoint it on your like in your game so you can actually see how far it is from you which is pretty cool and then if you want to get rid of it you go back in there and you go click on it and it is now deselected if you guys want to delete waypoints, you go into the waypoints and there you go, you can delete it or you can change it. You can also type in the exact coordinates if you want to, if you didn't get the coordinates that you got or that you clicked on. But yeah, you can change the exact coordinates to whatever you need to. Number 14 is pretty cool because you no longer need to make yourself a bunch of pipes or electricity lines and run them across multiple areas and have this really weird looking base because you just have all these pipelines or electricity lines just floating everywhere so for the power all you have to do is craft yourself a generator get yourself some oil turn it on and there you go you now have electricity available to your base so if you guys have a look here the chemistry bench is now able to be turned on if you go over to your generator you can actually click on show range and then you can see how far you have got electricity for the water all you need is a intake so if you take the intake and you place it close to water you guys will see around me is this blue border and that is where we are where water is available to us so we don't need to lay a pipe work so we're going to place this down quickly and then uh, we can take a tap and we can place it anywhere in this circle let me just quickly show range there you guys can see the blue circle that I was talking about. So anywhere inside here we can go ahead and place this tap and you guys will see that it actually is giving us some water. If you also place yourself the crop lots in here, um, it will also irrigate the crop lots for you. And there you go, it's fully irrigated. So what happens if your base is not close to the water? Well, you can extend the range but uh, you're going to need to do a little bit of work. So for this, you're going to make yourself a water tank. You're going to place the water tank inside of this blue area. And then you'll see that this one also allows for water in another range. So you can just spread it out like that. Keep placing the water tanks and keep going up back to your base. So just to quickly show you guys that there is water here. There you go. And the last one, number 15, is that you can access your shoulder pet's inventory without throwing it off your shoulder. So if you hold in R, you guys will see throw sh shoulder pet or access shoulder pet inventory. So let's go ahead, access the inventory, and now we can stack our shoulder pets with all our belongings. Remember to let me know in the comments down below if you guys knew of any of these changes or if you know of any other changes that I didn't mention in this video. Uh, I hope that this video helped you or I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a big fat like or let me know in the comments down below. And then also if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And yes, I hope to see you guys in my future Ark Survivor Extended videos. But for now, have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.